but this is Mad Cat Sphere. Just wanted to upload a video to talk about how long it takes me to record a psychokinesis ability and to just get the fine little tidbits of those recordings to upload them on YouTube that you guys see. Now I'm gonna talk about how long it took me, the anguish and the time it took me to record these videos specifically and I'm gonna talk about how long it took me to roll the can, the log, the trolley, grocery trolley, and to do the basic side wheels. And uh, I'm just gonna go right into it. Now let's get started with the log. Let me look for the log video. Now right here, it took me about six hours all in one day just to gather 20 to 40 to 50 seconds of footage. Six hours just to get a minute of footage rolling this damn log now um it took me about four hours outside and about two hours inside just to get some footage of this log rolling that's how much it took for me to get this log but it was all worth it but it was the only time i was able to do it because it was so large and i was just ready and in the zone now rolling this damn can took me about four to five hours a little bit less than rolling the log um I was just sitting there on my ass for four to five hours, getting up and stretching once in a while, trying to get my mind in the zone and focused and everything. Now, um, the log was very difficult, but this can was just as difficult as the log because what it is is that you have to detach yourself from the ego and you have to kind of like, you know, lower your, your expectations and, and foresee this little small piece of uh, aluminum foil rolling before your eyes. And uh, I, I don't know why, but the larger things, the log, I was just ready and hyped to do it. I just excel at it, but this, log, this can it took a long time to do. Now, all those videos are very impressive, but I want to get back to the roots of where I started from, how I learned psychokinesis and that spinning side wheels, learning from the man Trevor Seven. Now, are you guys already seen these videos already from my best telekinesis tutorial? It's 120,000 views on it already right now on my channel. And I just want to get into it. It's going to be very interesting. Let's just get into it right now. Now, these old clips bring me back memories because these videos were like the beginnings of me learning psychokinesis. Now, this particular video right here took me about maybe like an hour. You know, compared to the other ones, the cans and the log, it took me about an hour to get some movement going. This one was a little bit more faster. It took me about maybe a 20 to 15 minutes to get something going, to get some movement, some good spinning. And it was because, you know, these side wheels, I was just into it. I was fired up. I was in the zone. I was ready for it. And, um, you know, uh, I was just ready to get something going and I was so enthusiastic and like I have to tell you guys that spinning the side was probably, you guys already know from another video that it is the greatest achievement of my life. Like it is the greatest achievement of like the first thing I've ever done that was just an awesome thing that I never thought I would ever do. Because what we're doing here is just completely mind blowing. Like I never thought psychokinesis, telekinesis was ever anything. It was just some fantasy thing that was just fake. But uh, going on to this video right here, this one actually took me a little bit more faster is probably around 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes a little bit lower than the 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 second one and this uh the side wheel demonstration that i'm showing you guys and uh it was because i was just ready i i wanted to just show my demonstration i wanted to record something i was far away this is the first one that i showed that i was very far away from the side wheel and i was genuinely spinning it with my psychokinesis abilities and i was very proud of psychokinesis abilities I just love them. Now, before the foot wrist and the log, there was the grocery trolley. Now, this grocery trolley, I only moved it a little bit toward me. As you see, my uh, my tutorial, the biggest one, the best telekinesis tutorial for beginners one, I only moved it a little bit, but uh, let's get right into it. I'll describe to you how long it took me and what it took to do with me. The grocery trolley. Now, you guys have seen me do this thing, man. I only had a little bit of success with this thing because it was the first biggest thing I attempted to move. I didn't get it to move that much, but as you can see, it's a little bit. It's a little bit. And it's because this thing is just has rubber wheels and it connects to the floor and it sticks and everything. And it was just the biggest thing I moved. And it took me actually seven hours and a few minutes to do. But it was all worth it because it was on my biggest tutorial on my site. 
Now we're getting into the meat of it. This is the footrest spin. This is this one is the one that I can genuinely say I had real total control. I was in the zone. I was ready. I was engaged. You can see me here. I'm rotating it away from me. And then later on, I'm going to rotate it toward me. You guys seen this one already in the 1000 subscriber special tutorial. And uh, this one actually took me, I would say, a little bit less than the log, about three or four hours because I was just ready. And I was, this was around three or four or five in the damn morning. You know, and, but I was ready to get something going. I, uh, I already had practice of the other one you guys have already seen. The other red footrest, the more larger one, which I call Big Red. That one's more a little bit difficult. This one's a little bit, a little bit lighter, but not any difference. And I gained a lot of knowledge from that one to spin this one. Now we're gonna get into some hydrokinesis. Now this is uh, the first time ever attempting to do some hydrokinesis, moving a can, floating on water. It was the first time I ever moved anything on water with my mind with psychokinesis. It was a great achievement. Another one, right here you're seeing a raw psychokinesis ability at my best. Like this was another achievement that I can add to my belt that I'm very proud of. And actually you can see it floating because it, my subconscious was pushing too much energy and it just kind of went off crazy. Now right here is another one. I want to try something new, not just move something in the water, but to move it under a bridge or something to have total control of the object, you know, and I move this little ball under this bridge and I tried to move it under the other bridge, but it became a little difficult and it became a little strained, but at least I got it one under bridge and I'm very proud of this one. Now with Umbra. Umbra, 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 Umbra Kinesis. Now this is another one that I always say, you know, that I'm very proud of, but I, this one was another achievement. I can say it was an achievement with the hydro and the footrest and the side wheel and the can and all the other ones. I can say that uh, this was a great achievement doing this umbra kinesis thing. And um, what I did was I was just in the comfort zone of my mind. I tried to envision the shadow being the side wheel itself and I surprised myself before recording this video just doing it against the wall using a uh, trying to manipulate a smaller shadow of the side wheel and I surprised myself that I was actually able to do it and so I moved on to this one got a bigger shadow did some awesome secret uh, moving the, sh the, the shadow through looking at the video of the screen and it's another great achievement and man these are my great achievements I've done in Psychonesis and it took a long time to get some small footage and there you go guys that's my achievements that's what i've done and that's the time it took for each psychokinesis ability how long it took me to achieve it took hours and hours and minutes just to get it going you know it took me a long long time to do these things because you know first of all it's something that we never thought was even possible and for someone who's starting out a novice don't get too stressed about it don't worry about being left behind because eventually you will get something going and you will you will succeed in what you're trying to do. It will take time. The whole world will discover psychokinesis and the world will be a better place because of it. It's going to enlighten the world. It's going to be a tr fantastic, terrific thing. And I hope a very enlightening and opening thing. And I hope that we can learn to self levitate which is going to be another Pandora box opening revelation of the world waking up. And uh, that's how long it took me to do the certain things, the spinning the, the side wheels, the footrest, rolling the can, the log, uh, doing the good old grocery trolley thing. And this is Ricky Cespedes, Mad Cat Spear. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.